Hey, Adam here with a simple and fast review of the Any Oasis brand R1 touchscreen digital voice recorder. This is a 72 gigabyte uh, digital voice recorder. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna showcase a couple of its features, test it out and let you know whether or not it's worth buying. All right, so as we get this thing out of the box, um, I wanna show you first the size. So it's uh, conveniently sized, uh, pretty small. And we'll go through all the features and stuff like that shortly, um, but really nice sizing here. And uh, this will be your, your main screen. Touch screen capable. Underneath all this stuff, you'll find your instruction manual, uh, as well as a nice uh, USB-C charging cable. So this thing has a lot of different capabilities, but just, you know, and I'm not gonna go through all these, but as you'll see on this, you got your record button, um, Key things being your play and pause, uh, your your mark, T mark, your volume up and down. On this side, you'll have your charging USB C. You'll have your uh, SD slot, and of course, you'll have uh, a jack for your headphones. Um, this is going to be your microphone up top. Uh, there's a lock as well as uh, power, um, so you can just figure that stuff out as needed uh, when you turn it on. Let's just show you kind of. Real quick, that does come with a 64 gigabyte drive. It must be a uh, about an eight gigabyte hard drive in there. Um, so it's giving me a kind of a quick walkthrough. Red light stays on during recording. Blue light flashes when recording's paused. Uh, that'll just be your simple indicator. Again, we'll just, uh, when the battery's fully charged, you'll see a green light. Um, it does have a really, really powerful battery here as well. Um, one of the capabilities is, uh, is gonna be the ability to kind of um, lock this with a six digit lock, uh, key lock. So, so swipe uh, down to view settings and uh, all the usage tips. So it tells you how to kind of, walks you through all this stuff, but um, we'll go back. We have multiple things, general interview, meeting, lecture, pocket, um, and uh, those are all the recording styles. Um, again, you can set up your, your, uh, your settings, all that stuff, um, however you want to do it. But what I'm going to do is just simply go through and, uh, and start recording, because at the end of the day, that's really what we're looking to do. Now, as you can see, there's a voice to text transcription capability, which is really nice. Uh, you will need to kind of plug it into your computer and uh, use their, um, there's an offline STT, which uh, you can kind of work with. So, um, and we're just going to kind of set that as default. And so as you can see here, uh, as you start to uh, record, it's going to uh, show you kind of volume. It's kind of like a, a, <laughs> a heartbeat monitor there. Um, but it's really, really cool. We'll pause it. We'll save it. We'll go back, all that stuff. So we're going to pause. And as you can see, it just gives you an opportunity to hit record and you'll see the blue light flashing as mentioned. You'll see your red light when you're recording. Um, and what we're going to do is going to pause it here. And what we're going to do is listen to the playback. Files are automatically stored on the SD card, which is what we want. And you can adjust the name. You can tag it as you wish. Um, all these different things. I'm just going to hit save. And now we've got a wave file. So let's hear that wave file. Okay, set that as default. And so as you can see here, uh, as you start to uh, record, it's going to uh, show you kind of volume. It's kind of like a, a, a heartbeat monitor there. Um, but it's really, really cool. We'll pause it, we'll save it. So as you can tell, it plays really, really nicely. And again, if I want to just get into recording again, um, we're going to have to hold this for two seconds. So now we're recording back in uh, in this um, mode here. So uh, very cool stuff. And we'll uh, pause, save, save again. And now we've got a second file. So um, very, very cool functionality there. Uh, so let's get back to, uh, to the home screen here. There we go. And we're at 92% battery. You can adjust your, uh, your Bluetooth, your volume, or your brightness. Um, all that stuff. And I believe this does connect wirelessly through Bluetooth so you can connect it to your phone as well. Um, 
So a lot of really cool uh, functionality in the recording settings, all that stuff. Um, you can kind of use a temporary recording space internally, or we can kind of use a uh, SD card. So as mentioned, uh, read your manual. It literally walks you through how to kind of do everything in this, uh, specifically talking about playback, um, exporting the audio to a computer or whatever. Um, if you uh, don't want to just play it back from where you are, um, how to set up your wireless connections, all that stuff. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview of uh, you know exactly how small it is, how portable it is, uh, the capabilities, um, and again, just you know how to kind of get things set up uh, on your end um, as far as simple recordings. Now, obviously, what you'll want to do is set the time right, um, do all those things to make sure that this thing uh, works perfectly for you. Um, as far as charging, um, what we're going to do is uh, just plug it right in here with the USB-C. Uh, and the final thing I do want to show you is just how to set the, uh, the lock. So I showed you some of the, uh, the settings earlier um, about wireless and all that stuff. If you just keep scrolling um, down to the bottom, you'll find uh, that you will have a security button. And that's where also you're going to set your kind of date, time, all that stuff, um, formats, um, you re can reset stuff. Um, but as far as the security, uh, we're going to auto lock the screen and then for our purposes here, we're just going to hit uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to enter it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be all ones. And so now um, we're going to, when we turn it off and lock it and turn it back on. Uh, that's when we're going to have our little password lock. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six, and we're in. And so again, if you want to just turn that off, then you no longer need that. Um, that's an important feature again, especially if you're putting uh, really important uh, data on here uh, of any sort. So um, totally awesome, a uh, lot of value, um, tons of storage. I mean, you've got 64 gigabytes. This this can expand up to uh, I think a terabyte depending on what card you want. But you get 64 uh, gigabytes as part of this. Um, you can kind of adjust your styles uh, if it's going to be in your pocket or whatever. Um, all that stuff. And then of course you, there's a transcription capability once you hook it up to your computer. So tons of value. Absolutely love this thing. Um, giving it to my daughter for uh, for college. So um, hopefully you've uh, you found value in this video. And uh, thanks for watching.